Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. We will finish up the last part of our series of CNA Heart. So we got our cheat sheets again. <laughs> and we do want to apologize if we pronounce anyone's name um, incorrectly. We um, do not mean to do that whatsoever. So um, today's letters will be N through Z. We recognize NACA, National Association of Healthcare Assistants, for their dedication they have given to all CNAs over the past 26 years. And that's a good way to start yes, that letter yes. N, isn't it, with that NACA? The NACA, yes. And also the letter N, you will find Sheila Close, Nero, Nero ICU floor from the state of Kansas. The letter O and P, Office Manager and Payroll, Julie Kennedy from Iowa. Mm -hmm. Private Duty, Marcy Salone and Batriva Bailey, both from Missouri. And don't forget our preceptors. And I have to give a shout out to LaShonda <laughs> and Rudy. And um, a while back, I believe it was last year, our Jeff Wellman came to the home and we had probably 20, 22 people that took um, yes. the class as preceptors. And um, it was amazing time. So um, please reach out to your preceptors if you are new in your facility and uh, they can give you a lot of good advice. So shout out to them as well. Yes, thank you. Q, the letter Q stands for quality. A big shout out to all of our past and future Creek to college winners. Mm -hmm. That's you. Yep, I got to give her another <laughs> shout out. And we mentioned quite a few people, um, Latora and Celeste and um, Geraldine, Sherry and Raymond. Geraldine and quite, quite a few. Um, so hopefully once this pandemic clears the air that we can uh, award some more of those great awards. Yes. R is our next letter. We have Emily Scott in long-term care, but she works in the rehab part mm -hmm. of it from Wisconsin. And we have our RNAs, Letha Nichols and Randy Leslie, both from Missouri. And they're at the Veterans Home yes, as well, right? at the Veterans right? Home, yes. The letter S, the name Sweet for Lisa Sweet, our CNA heroes. Yes, so we want to give her a big shout out for doing that program yes. right here on CNA TV. April Hacker, scheduler from Indiana. And the next letter is T. T is for transportation. And LaShonda Williams is right here with me from Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put her on the spot um, because I would like for her to tell us a little bit about her position because a lot of CNAs want to like, oh, I'll volunteer, I'll volunteer because they feel that it is an easy position to do. And it's not, is it? No, it's not. Mm -mm. Well, my position, I'm a transport driver at the St. James Veterans Home. And what I do is I, we, we're over the appointments. Like we take the guys or the ladies to and from their appointments. We have, we have to make sure they're ready. We want to get them there in time. We have to make sure they have food. Make sure we have oxygen tanks if they need oxygen. When we're getting them on the van, we have to do a lot of safety checks. We have to make sure their seat belt. We have to make sure they're strapped down with their wheelchairs. I mean, we have a lot of stuff that we have to do. We have to make sure if they're CPR or if they're DNR. We need to know all that. Like, it's only, most time, it's only one person taking these men right. and women to appointments. Right. So we have to make sure our vans are up to par. You know, everything like we have a it's a list of responsibilities we have to do. It's not just driving them there. Right. We're over there. Tarlington needs. I mean, whatever they need. And we whatever are there for they them. Need. Yes. And you also have that public eye staring right down at you. Oh, yes. So if your residents are not not clean or exactly, anything and yes. they're complaining, everyone else is going to hear that out in the public and they're really not going to know if this resident has certain that's behaviors why, or anything. And that's why I don't never leave. I always go to the veteran, whoever I'm taking, I go to them ahead of time to make sure they're ready. Because like you said, they're looking at me when right. I bring them in there. It's not right. who got them up or got them ready. It's up to me to make sure they're clean and dry and right. everything. So how so, many residents may have you had on your bus at one, at oh, one and certain one, time? Before the pandemic, we used to have like five veterans at a time. 
And you had responsibility over I did all have, of those? And, well, I did have a ride along person with me, like another CNA. So, you know, that was good. But good. now we're not having as many. I'm having like one or two. Right. So it, then it's just me and them. So, right. but most time they are giving me ones that can ambulate and I might have a wheelchair. So that makes it easier for me because the person can walk and we're, they're going to the same clinics now. I really like that better too, because I'm not having one way across the hospital. Right. And, and you're just across. not driving locally. You're driving like two and three hours away yes, to I'm take going, these veterans. Yes, I'm going to Columbia, St. Louis, Springfield, wherever they need me to go. You know, I'm right. going to take them. Right. You know, that so. is a lot of responsibility to take on. Yeah, it's not just driving. <laughs> yeah. And the letter um, U that we're moving on to now is Derek Shook. And he is a unit peer leader from North Carolina at a VA hospital. Mm. And then we have Colleen Kelly at UC Health from Colorado. And the V, V stands for veterans. Mm -hmm. Tammy Jones McClinic from Oregon. Natalie McDonald from Missouri. Rudy Howerton from Missouri. Letha Nichols from Missouri. And all of them works at the St. James Veterans Home. Veterans too, Home as with well. Me. Then last but not least, we have Randy Leslie and our very own LaShondra, and they're also from the state of uh, Missouri. The last letter is the letter Y. So please go to <laughs> YouTube, check out CNA TV, subscribe, like, and share all of these shows as well as all of the other ones. We have CNA Hero with Lisa Sweet, um, that we had mentioned um, earlier in the show. That is a great, great program. And then we also have Dane Henning for Long-Term Care News, and that's also a great program to follow.